Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? Robbie Foswell's back. Good to see you guys. Hope you guys are having a good day. Good to see you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. And today I'm going to review Apex Legends Season 13 for the PC Steam. You can find this on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and, and yours truly, the PC Steam platform as well. Alright, uh, let's see, let's start off with number one, the graphics. The graphics in this game can look like a mixed bag. Sometimes it, it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, mainly it does look good. Sometimes the map layout and design can look a little good. Sometimes it can look a little bad. Depending on where you're at in this in the map, it'll look good and it, it won't look good. So depending on where wherever that is, it just it just looks good or bad depending on where you are. It does have good vistas. Sometimes it has good lighting. Sometimes it has um good um it has good um texture work, sometimes it has good polygons in the textures and environments, levels aren't too small or big, but just right, the graphics look attractive, I'll give it a beautiful 8 out of 0, pretty 8 out of 8.0 out of 10, it's, a, it's good looking, I like it a lot, and it's attractive multiplayer game, but, and graphics, alright, that's the graphics, uh, let's move on to the gameplay, now the gameplay is PV. P P PVP Battle Royale. You can play this on a dedicated server on um, with human players or sometimes there's bots, aim bots, bots, uh just a lot of bots in this game. But there is also um there are also there's tons of aim bots in this game. There's also tons of um there's tons of cheaters in this game. There's a lot of sneaky people in this game, so be aware of that. And there's a lot of there's tons of aim bots. I come across a lot of aim bots in this game. And a lot of bots and a lot of South Korean players. Do you know how South Koreans are always good at video games? And these motherfuckers are good at shit at it. They'll, they buried me alive in this game, but they're good at shit in this game. Their hit detection is so fast and quick, you just can't run away from them. Anyway, the, 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 the gameplay, I give, I, the, the gameplay I give a 9, it's a good gameplay, but, yeah, you play, a, you play as a 50 or 59 team based, Three team squad um, battle royale and a dedicated multiplayer server. You can play it with your friends in a three on three tag team match elimination. It's up to you, but I mainly play with strangers because I don't have no friends to play with. I do have friends on my PSN to play with, but they don't choose to play this game. Anyway, alright, now the sound design is felt next in this voice acting. Now the voice acting is good, they sound serious, they sound like they're actually in the action. And the sound effects for the guns are nice, they sound like what they look like, they sound good. They sound like what they look like, they sound like what the guns are designed to look like, what they're designed to do. They, look, they sound like that, they sound good. So I give the uh, sound design and um, game, uh, sound design and um, what is it called again? Sound design and voice acting an eight, gameplay a nine, and the graphics an eight. Now, multiplayer quality. Now, multiplayer quality in this game, I would say, it's, it's a mixed bag. Sometimes you get a good match, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you are know, mix matchmaking, sometimes it's good. Sometimes you fail, sometimes you win. If you're a really good player, you'll win all the time. If you're an average player, you'll win here and there. You're like me, I'm an average player, I win here and there. Or if you're not a good player at all, might as well quit and stop playing. You get no wins. But uh, those are rare, so... Uh, anyway... Uh, it's, a, it's a good game though, I mean... Matchmaking, multiplayer-wise, is good. But I'll give it a 7. 
Now overall quality of the game and replay value and everything and whatnot and overall grade of this game I give a B plus and 89%. Now it could be better but for what it is for a battle royale game it's the best battle royale game ever in the market. This is where the big boys come to play in battle royale and esports and they're all and even in even an average show like me can play this. As a as a big timer in battle royale. All right. Anyway, I give the game an eighty nine percent. It's a good, it's a good game. The best battle royale game ever. The most innovative as well. Uh, and by the way, um, let's see here. Uh, this, when you do get a lot of kills, this game makes you feel like an unstoppable badass. So when you do win a match, it makes you feel like you accomplished something, and it goes on your record. And it makes you feel like a badass, but that's the self -grat gratification it gives you on this game. But anyway, it's a good game, one of the best games of all time, one of the best games of current generation, 8th and 9th. And it looks so pretty and beautiful, but could look better. It's not amazing looking, it's not gorgeous, but it is what it is. So I give the game an 89% or a B. Plus. It could be better, but it's okay. It could have been, it could have been better. There are some problems I ran across with the game, like performance problems and um, map layout. But that's okay. That's a minor flaw. That's a minor con. But anyway, I have a lot of pros and cons in this game. Even though this game can be really hard at times, it is what it is. I love you guys. Stay safe. Have a good day. I'll see you later in my next video.